I have 8% battery. Text. Adventures. All right, so you know us as the folks who made the text game. Um, it's not purely text. We do have a little bit of graphics in there because ironically we have an artist on our team. <laughs> um, so this game uh, was made by the wonderful people on my team, Jeff Edgington, myself, Carl Harden, Kirk uh, Staver, and Jerry Thompson. Sorry, I couldn't remember your last name for a while, so that's fine. <laughs> but, um, so it was a combination of all of us writing. There are about 43,000 words that we wrote over the weekend, and um, that really comprises like 15 rooms or something. <laughs> Uh, so the, uh, the story, as you recall from what we talked about in our pitch, was that um, you start off and you don't really know whether you're human or not. We don't make it very clear. As the story progresses, you figure out that you're a robot. But um, you're in charge of sort of c controlling the environment on an interstellar spaceship. And so when you start at the beginning, you have a little bit of time to look around and kind of see things and before the, the actual event uh, occurs. And so I'm just going to um, pass the time real quick. Okay, so at some point a meteor strikes the ship, and then you will um, you start having your quests. And so your quests involve lifting things off of people because you're a robot, carrying them to the medical bay, and uh, figuring out how to, to keep people from dying and various things like that. Um, and I, I would go through the walkthrough, but it actually would take you about 15 minutes to do here, so we don't, we don't really have time to do that. But. Um, I, and I, can, I guess I could show some more pictures and some stuff. Um, let's see. Can you teleport to a dangerous room? Yeah, I can teleport to a dangerous room. So uh, you can't teleport to a dangerous room immediately, but uh, the rooms, we did actually put a command so you can see like the visualization of the room. And the reason our is green is because the idea is supposed to look like a computer looking back at you from the screen. So um, I guess that's about it. I, mean, I don't know what to show. What's that? I, mean, I can show some commands. Well, you, you should play. It's really what it comes down. Well, also, I mean, the one cool thing that we also had is the diagnose thing that to bring the heart into it a little bit more than oh, yes. normal is that you can diagnose people and uh, see what their health is like based on their heartbeat because you have that ability. So if it's a regular heartbeat, obviously they're fine. They might have an elevated heartbeat, which means they're in trouble, so on and so forth. Yeah, the idea was that diagnose was supposed to take an uh, integral part of the entire game. Because you diagnose people and you get to figure out uh, uh, sort of what their status is, and as, as you see them go through events, you see their heart rate raise and lower based on like emotional responses they're having, and you're trying to somehow mimic that at some point. So uh, we got about two out of our four apps done. So, but again, it's really best to play. I really can't show you a text. I'm not that interested. In this All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 